Okay, this is a quick video demonstrating the new tab settings and the new alignment modes um, that we have with the Spin2 uh, extension for Visual Studio Code. I'm just showing you at the, at the, uh, when you're at the Explorer page and you search on it. This is the uh, detail page you get, and uh, this is a list of what's inside of the extension. And this is the list of uh, the latest changes that we've made. And so I'm running the 173 version here. And our color theme is already set up for the default iron sheet. So now I'm going to go over and switch to, uh, let's take a look at some code I was working on. And I'm going to make sure we're in align mode here by going to align. I have... Um, I'm just now laying out this code. Normally I've been using a four tab stop four before we had our own tab stops. And so now I'm going to see what my tab stops are set to. I'm using the um, Iron Sheep setting, not the, not the propeller tool. Uh, Iron Sheep is known for having uh, tab stop four settings, essentially. Um, and so, um, but it's significant. Um, in I've removed tab stops that are not necessarily used very frequently. Now I wanted to look at how easy it is to uh, set up tabbing and to correct tabbing and things like this uh, with align mode. You probably, if you're using propeller tool, you already know about all of this, but I'm demonstrating this for us who are just now using, uh, just now uh, starting to use uh, VS Code for doing this. And what you see is when I, I selected four lines and I moved uh, just the center part and I didn't move the comments, um, I can also um, now adjust these as well. And I'm holding down, I'm on a Mac, so I'm holding down the Option key to do multi-line selections. And I can just um, grab those selections and say move to the next tab step to the left with my Shift Tab key. And that's done. Um, seeing, let's see, I'm not going to play with these, but I will come back and make sure these are all aligned. And you can see that with align mode on, I'm able to move just the um, elements that are um, not in the same place, and I'm not affecting where the comments align. Um, and if I'm moving a bunch of them, I can just go ahead and select them one by one and shift the group left. Or I can just place uh, the cursor at the one. Oops, let's go the other direction and make sure. And so now I'm just lining up my code so that it's all the way I want. I have a number of tab settings uh, so that um, I can do individual columns here. I tend to like my uh, PASM code um, to be... Uh, a single space between the comma delimited param parameters. Um, and you'll see that now I'm out here, I want to move this left. It's going to leave a single space when I move it left. Um, as you, I hope you expect that behavior. Because <laughs> that's what it's doing. And so I just wanted to show, just to do a quick little video to show you what it looks like uh, doing these kind of changes. Um, I have my conditionals here, I have my results here, and I have then my columns of, of code, mnemonics, and operands. Let's set here. And so I just wanted to show you what it's like. I don't think I need to show you any more than that. Just a quick, simple little example. Uh, the same thing is available up here for Pub and Pry. Um, so you can see what the tab stops are set to there. Um, or And basically, I just use tab stop for equivalence. Um, there's a few more tab stops than what a propeller tool had offered. I think we added two or three more out here. But I just have that and then the standard right edge. It also supports a, a inline PASM. I don't think I have any here. Correct. Okay, so I won't have any here to show you in this demo, but at least you'll have seen what it looks like. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to show you for now. I hope you enjoy the new tabbing feature. That is the line mode. Oh, let's. Uh, that's not all I have. Let's let's look at settings while we're here. Um, I wanted to show you preferences settings. If you want to look for our settings, you can do this a number of ways. One of the ways I do it is our extension is called Spin2. So one of the things I do is just type in Spin2 and it filters this list to things that are related to Spin2. And so what you end up with is the color theme, um, enabling the tab stops. And then you also get the three different sets of tab stops we have. I have Iron Sheep as uh, my tab stop four arrangement with basically the propeller tool is the exact ones that are in built-in propeller tool. And you can set that here just by choosing which one you want. I use Iron Sheep. If you want to make this, uh, you'll notice you have user and you have workspace. If you want to make this unique to the workspace, you can go here and save settings and enable them for this workspace only. Um, if you do a custom tab stops in user one, you probably want to preserve it in workspace. Um, I don't know yet. I'm learning how these things work. I don't know if my distribution of user one is going to overwrite yours if you modify it and it's set to user. We'll have to experiment with that over time. If you happen to know the answer, let me know, and I'll be glad to uh, factor that in. Um, when it comes to, so this is settings. Uh, basically, if I take off this filter, you have all of these, and if you look down here to extensions, I have a lot of extensions installed, but you go and select Spin 2. Now you're looking at the Spin 2 extension and its settings. And we have the tab stops. We have which tab stop group we like. We have enabling tab stops. And then we have insert mode. And this enables a line, which is off by default. I had to turn that on. And then this gives you the different names that you're going to see down in the bottom right-hand corner of your VS Code. And then this allows overtype paste. I don't mind that being on. If you want your insert mode to be unique per editor window, you can actually set this and it'll be uh, individually set for each end of editor window you have. If you don't like that, you can uncheck it. And now it's set for all editor windows simultaneously. And then this is what the cursors can look like. Um, I just set them to defaults. Uh, you can set different cursor shapes for the different um, uh, insert mode and, um, sorry, for the overtype mode and for the align mode. And that's that. While we're here in settings, um, while we're thinking about settings, let's look at also the keyboard uh, mapping. Um, there is a number of mapping. I'm going to go to keyboard shortcuts. And there's all of them for the entire system. I'm going to reduce this to spin two again. And now you can see which ones we have assigned. And there you see that we have a number of different mappings. Um, uh, shift tab, insert tab comment, which is there. And we have tabs. We uh, also hook the delete key. We hook the backspace key. We hook F11 and we hook insert. And uh, then we hook uh, the toggle between modes, which is shift command I for toggling just between uh, a line and insert. So there you have the keys. So what I've just showed you is that you type in spin2 and you get the keys for this extension. Pretty easy to find them all. Okay, thanks for watching this demo.